Another patch and another Moogle treasure trove event. I actually really like these events. It's the only time that I really get to bring blue mage out of the box. We got another Moogle treasure trove event coming July 1st. Uh, these items look pretty sick. I'm excited for this earring because I'm into a lot of like dark kind of black glamour right now. And I think those will look really good with it. Uh, of course, for that Ufidi mount too, I don't have that one. So I definitely want to get that. But basically, you're going to get tombstones for different things during the event. It looks like Orum Vale is going to be the choice this um, event. You also can do PvP. You got some of these other random things if you're doing like leveling roulette or MSQ. It's kind of nice to get these tombstones if you're still leveling and being able to multitask a little bit. Um, but basically, Orum Vale Blue Mage Farm is the way to go. I have a video coming out on that, so just make sure to like and subscribe and you'll get that notification for it. We also got the Alpha Scapes and Sigma Scapes. Um, I haven't really done these for Blue Mage or for these Tombstone events, so that might be a thing. Um, someone who has been doing these events for like six years, you can tell me in the comment section down below. Um, basically, though, you're going to start and um, getting Tombstones tome stone so i don't get like roasted in the comment section the brick earring is usually the first thing i go for and then you really especially if you're a brand new player um or you just got into end game and you're leveling blue mage and you have what you need which will be in the blue mage farming video you really want to prioritize getting all of the mounts offered these events usually are really well known for getting some mounts that are super super annoying to get these ones right here lunar and ufidi those are like the big main mounts um lunar kamu fife i believe is from stormblood and ufidi i can't remember how you get that originally um someone can tell me in the comment section down below the hairstyles, that's, it, I like them, but I am a Viera, so it kind of doesn't really apply. We also have the ballroom etiquette, the winsome wallflower. This gives you the lean emote, so you can lean against the wall. I can't wait to get this because I don't have it yet. <laughs> and it's nice to just be able to get it pretty much for free for doing stuff that I was already doing. You have another round of like lesser mounts that are only 30 tombstones each. Some of these are from beast tribes, so it is worth getting these if you don't have them because then you wouldn't have to necessarily do the beast tribe in order to get these mounts. You should still do the beast tribe, or I should say tribal quest is the new word for it. These round lantern ones are from Heaven's Ward uh, Extreme Trials. So those can be really annoying to drop. And I would pick those up here if you possibly can, more so than the other ones, I think. I would do the round and wearing lantern first because um, those are more annoying. And I don't have really good RNG luck. And I had to do like, heaven's ward one extreme trial like for 45 minutes in order to get this mount so i would definitely do that once you get these mounts the next thing if you don't have a house i would go for is the minions the tora Giro and the hedge hoglet those are super super cute and again just an easy way to get them um, after all said and done if nothing else interests you and you're like well what do i really use these on or why should i still collect these the biggest thing is the MGP Platinum cards. And that is because each card gives you 50,000 MGP. That is a lot of MGP. And you can easily farm, Blue Mage farm, or um, over the course of the event, get enough of these to buy some of those higher priced items in the Gold Saucer, which is where you spend your MGP. Really be focused on getting these MGP, MGP cards if you don't need any of the mounts or if you have everything already, just get those MGP. MGP, man, I don't know why I came to San State. I can't talk today, just leave me be. Uh, they have some of these cards. I believe I have all these already, so I don't have to worry about that, but it, it makes it really easy to collect some of those cards you need for your achievement. Some people do Praetorium runs. That sounds horrible. I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't do that. The Orban Monastery, um, you know, it gives you seven, but it's also longer runs. They did rework the Praetorium, of course, so I'm not really sure if it's going to be a good option or not, or if it's better than Blue Mage Farm. Blue Mage Orum Vale takes anywhere from, I can't remember exactly. I'm just going to give you a wide range, two to five minutes, and you get three tombstones. Oh no, you get four tombstones. So yeah, I think Orum Vale is going to be the way to go. It can be a kind of annoying. You have to have a specific rotation and a specific set of skills. So it's a little bit of a higher barrier to entry. But if you can do the Blue Mage farm, I would start doing that or working towards that now. 
um, because that's really the best way to like maximize on events like this. And it means that we have a new patch coming, patch 6.2, it's gonna be awesome. I uh, really can't wait for it to come out. Um, I'm sad that we're not getting our Dragoon and Astro rework. They had already said that it's just gonna be too much and they're spreading resources like too far everywhere else in order to do that. I just wanted to cover everything uh, that is just for the new players. These come up really often. So if you're saying to yourself, oh, well, I don't have Blue Mage, so I'm not gonna worry about it, or it's not leveled, or it's not in the perfect place to farm, I would say work towards it now, because in these events, usually for Moogle Treasure Trove, Blue Mage is always the go-to job to farm these type of events. Once you do it once, you'll never have to do it again, and you should just kind of get up to date with Blue Mage. If you need some tips and tricks on Blue Mage on how to level, wink, wink, that's a, in like an innuendo, if you couldn't tell. Or if you just have general questions, you can join my Discord and ask in the Blue Mage channel. They'll have tons of answers there for you too. But I also am coming out with the Blue Mage farming video. So stay tuned for that. So then we can all Blue Mage farm together and get these tombstones. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, you can click here.